Good morning and welcome to the Doctor's Kitchen live with me, Rupee. Today, um, as you can tell, I've just worked out. Uh, I don't, I'm not working till much later today, so I've got a lazy morning to do something a little bit different for breakfast. Something I did at the weekend and a lot of people wanted the recipe. So I'm going to be making um, roast butternut squash with a pea avocado um, smash, guacamole, whatever you like. Um, and a po' fried egg. Now, po' fried egg is something super simple. It's just with a little bit of butter, some water, and then you cover it on top, and then it po' fries. So it's neither a fried egg or a poached egg, somewhere in the middle, and um, it tastes great, and that's the most important thing. So, just here, I'm gonna warm up um, a pan, so I'm gonna cook my um, hand shell peas really quickly. It's just gonna be a little bit of water. It only takes a couple of minutes. Medium, uh, medium. can you see this? I don't know if you can see this, but um, it's gonna be a, a medium heat. Um, I'm gonna cover that real quick. So oh, I'm gonna wash these real quick as well. So, And the good thing about peas is that you don't eat all this bit, you don't need to like dry it adequately, you just need to put it in a pan and just let it steam very gently. Only takes about 120 seconds, you just want it to be a little bit soft because you want that texture, that roughness when you blend it in the little blender here as well. So just cover that and that will literally only take a couple of minutes. Peas are one of my favourite ingredients, it's definitely one of my hero everyday sort of ingredients. It's full of fibres, full of protein, super easy to get hold of. We grow it here in the UK, full of phytochemicals as well. It's just one of those all-star ingredients that we should all have. Um, most people can fold it into um, salads and spaghetti and um, blend it into sauces just like what I'm doing today as well. The avocado that I'm going to use, just simple avocado, and just gives that lovely texture to it as well. Avocado in its own, yeah, it's great, and you can put chili in it and extra virgin olive oil, and it's lovely, but um, I just think with that pea, it just gives it a little bit more of um, a fuller texture, so it's just nice, and you can spread this on toast as well if you like. Everyone's that avocado, to, uh, avocado toast. I've actually reduced my avocado consumption, given what I know now about um, uh, how we're screwing up the whole world with all of our avocados that we're eating. So uh, in this, we're just gonna get a simple um, food processor here. And so some people will this. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? It, it's not lunchtime, no, it's breakfast. But I suppose this could be brunch. Yeah, this could be a brunch option, definitely. So I'm just gonna use half an avocado. Um, I'll go in here. So avocado again, it is one of my favorite ingredients. I think everyone has a thing for avocado. It's full of the types of fat that you find in avocado are monounsaturated fatty acids, as well as some saturated fatty acids as well. And that's important because everyone I think seems to group fats in certain things. This is unsaturated fat, this is monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, saturated fat, these are good, that's bad. It's not about whether one fat is bad or another. It's actually, all fats contain saturated fat, first of all. Uh, and second of all, it's the context in which you have those fats. So whether you're having a vegetable oil or butter, it's what you're having that meal with. Are you gonna be having it with lots of fiber? Are you gonna have it with lots of refined sugar? Are you gonna spread this on a croissant, for example? You know, these are all gonna have effects as to whether your fats are gonna be doing harm to you or actually having benefit and that's the same with any element to your diet as well so as long as you're having wholesome ingredients in your diet and you're enjoying your food that's the most important thing so half an avocado this goes so that was a mini wrap there um half an avocado goes into the processor here um and a little trick when you are using avocado squeeze some uh, lemon or lime into it and it will stop it from going brown the reason why is because these have lots of antioxidants and will reduce that chemical reaction that happens that oxidizes the avocado so it keeps it vibrant and fresh looking um, and this will add a lot of flavor to it as well so i'm uh, going to go with half of this and a peas here will just only take another 60 seconds or so and you just want the peas to be slightly soft you don't want it to be fully mushy or cooked through you want that texture still and our pan here is on a medium heat medium heat there i'm going to do our eggs in that as well so 
half of them goes there. We're also going to add um, a clove of garlic. Now we're going to be using it raw, don't be scared. Raw garlic is absolutely fine to use. We use it in things like pestos, we use it grated in like Asian style sauces. It's absolutely fine to use, so I can't get this clove out. Okay, I'm using wet garlic today, but you can use any sort of garlic that you like. So that's one clove that goes in there. Um, and that peas. Okay, so the peas are just steamed very lightly here. That's all we need. This is how we need it here. We're probably going to go in with about half this because I've got a small processor. Oh, tiny bit of seasoning. But it's probably about two or three tablespoons of peas there. A little bit of seasoning, tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. Love extra virgin olive oil. Again, all those different sorts of plant chemicals, those polyphenols, those are the ones that have been shown to be kind of protective as well. There is a bit of omega-3, but a short chain omega-3. We're just going to blitz this. When you're using hot peas, make sure you take the lid off because otherwise the steam will build up. And that is the texture that we want. It's a pea, avocado, smash, guacamole, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you want to always taste as well, if you want to add more salt, just a little bit of pinch of salt and some chili as well. So that's our smash done. This is on a uh, medium heat now. Actually, it's probably a little bit too hot, so I'm just going to take that off the pan. What you need is, you can either use extra virgin olive oil or I use a little bit of butter. So again, butter is largely a saturated fat. I think it's about 60% or so. And it does contain all the other different types of fats as well. It's something I use, I'm not afraid to use. I think we should all use it because um, it is a good quality fat, um, a wholesome source. It hasn't been damaged by chemical processing, which can actually lead to a bit of inflammation that we can find in certain, certain um, processed spreads. So I always use, uh, my main sources of fat are um, butter, extra virgin olive oil, and a bit of coconut oil as well, whenever it, wherever it's necessary, so in curries and stuff like that. I'm not the kind of person that will put butter in my coffee or anything like that, I don't think it's really necessary, unless there's a specific therapeutic dietary strategy that you're doing with a nutritionist or dietitian, doctor, etc. And there's only, there's only very unusual circumstances when that would happen as well. So, a little bit of butter just to coat the bottom. Where are my eggs? Oh, here they are. Okay, we're gonna go in just with one egg. So you just want to crack your egg onto the pan and then you want to just have let me put this in my you want to have a splash of water ready. So when the egg when the egg white goes when the when the <laughs> when the egg white goes white, you want to uh, add a dash of water and then just cover it and then Again, on a medium heat, that will lightly steam the egg so it's kind of like half fried, half poached, if you see what I mean. And it creates the most perfect egg you can imagine. You know, the kind of sweet, you know when you get those like egg sweets and they're used, used perfect, that's what it looks like. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so th this has probably been about 45 to 60 seconds. Um, this is what I need here. Then we're going to add a dash of water. This will probably be about 20 mils or so, so really not that much. Just around the outside, be careful if it splatters, which is not, and then just cover it, okay? And when you cover it with this lid, it will just, it will be perfect, trust me. Okay, so now we can plate up. This has probably only been, I don't know how long I've been going for, but it's probably not that, probably not that long. Oh, it doesn't have a time here, okay. So, this is a roast butternut that I have. I usually do these at the start of the week. So I'll get like two or three butternut squashes, just quarter them, cover them in a bit of oil, put them in the oven for about 55, 60 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade. And then it, you come up with this beautiful caramelized butternut squash. You can do the same thing with sweet potato. You can also do it with like Jerusalem artichoke, full of fiber, really, really good prebiotic. Um, that's just going to go on the side of the plate. That's going to give us some fiber. Okay, and then our pea smash is here. 
goes here on the side. And then our egg, as I showed you, this is perfect. It's perfectly cooked. You've got a little bit of butteriness. You've got that fried, very lightly fried texture on the outside. It's almost sauteed. And then the top is perfectly cooked with a runny egg because you've used a little bit of water and you've covered it, that steamed through. All right, let me take this off with a little spatula. over here and again like eggs another good source of fat and protein this is a perfect breakfast really to start your day with and you want a little bit of that butter as well a tiny bit of chili to put on top of your smash and a little bit of pepper as well and guys this is it I mean there's enough um, avocado smash or Avocado pea, I need to figure out a name for it. Pea avocado smash. Um, and this is it. This is your perfectly cooked egg, your avocado smash, your um, butternut, roast butternut that I've already done at the start of the week. And I put these in different ways. You can cut these up, you can make curries out of them. You can just shove them in your Tupperware for work, which is what I always do. And that is it. That is super simple. I did it in probably about 15 minutes I would say it's something I do do before work but if you want a little bit more time uh, before you practice it then just do it on the weekend when you've got a little bit more time and then you can do it for the family and stuff like that it's a really really easy recipe to do I really hope you like watching this if you do like it share it with your friends um, uh, just just yeah share it on Facebook and I'd love your feedback as well so try it tag me in your pictures and I will see you next time. Catch you later. Happy spinning, clapping, laughing, dancing in the blackness of magic. Get it, have it, bag it, throw yourself on the air.